Hey guys, welcome to the Santa Parks vlog. Um, we are just getting ready to go on our way. We're just waiting for Dan to get the last couple of bits from the house. Henry, are you excited? Henry, are you excited? Yeah. How excited? He's so excited. Is that a lot? Yeah. Okay, where are you going? Holiday. Where? Somewhere where it's holidays. Are you going to Santa Park? Yeah. <laughs> We have just arrived at Centre Parks. We've had a good run traffic wise. It was just a bit of a about five ten minutes delay, just kind of the road coming up to Centre Parks. So here we are, just going up. Um, we have arrived a little bit early, and um, so arrived at port two, and we can check in at four so we're gonna have a little wander around and probably have a coffee so i will check in with you later So I've just walked in. We've got a little room here where we've got um, iron board, iron, cot, high seat, high chair, high chair. Everything you need in there. It's fab. Right. Oh, so we've got another bath, another little toilet here. Um, so yeah, just a single toilet with a sink here, which I'm surprised I've already got two bathrooms. So we've got three toilets. Um, so little dining area here. That's the view outside. Eat your breakfast. Enjoy the beautiful view. Same lampshades as we've got at home. And then we go into, welcome to Santa Parks. Have a fantastic stay. Right. Okay. So we go into the kitchen area. Um, where they provide some dishwasher tablets. We did bring some of our own as well, and a few cloths, coffee machine. Um, as you know, I have my like coffee machine at home, so I may see if we can pick up some pods for this from the shop. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps going, it's really, really bright. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, um, and then over here, they do provide oh, look, coffee pods. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah, so we've got some coffee pugs there. We've got some nice tea bags. Um, so, they do provide a little bit there. And then we've got the cupboards here. We've got... So, in here, we've got some mugs and glasses. Wine glasses. Champagne glasses if you're feeling a little bit bougie. Um, we've got the toaster here. Double toaster, which is fab. Kettle here. And the cooker. And then, obviously, you've got your cutlery. I'm showing you this just because so you know what you need to and what you don't need to bring so basically they've got you know all your pots and pans um and things like that so you don't need to bring any of that plates have i seen the plates and fridge here so a decent sized fridge and then you've got a little freezer area there so plates are going to be this side i'm sorry i've not got my tripod on me at the minute so um i'm a little bit wonky with when i'm filming so i do apologize but i wanted to um, get it done before everybody gets a bit messy. So a decent sized dishwasher here as well. Got the mess master bedroom here. So big bed here. Me here. I've just shoved my hair up um, because we've just got in. We've been walking and things like that. So I'm a little bit hot. Um, so we've got some towels here. So they provide you with some towels. Um, wardrobe here. TV. Bit small, but it's all good little mirror here stool hair dryer this is the view outside so you've got a barbecue and sort of a seating area there it's a beautiful day so i'm hoping it's going to be nice for the rest of the week because sitting out there and having a coffee will just be fantastic so this is the main bedroom so going into the ensuite for the main bedroom uh, mirror here sink toilet we all know what that looks like and then we've kind of got a bath with an electric bit here so like a bubbly sort of thing and then the classic center parts logo there 
and again some more towels and then we will go into the next bedroom Surprise! where we've got two single beds here accompanied by Dan, Harper and Henry not included so stool, mirror again another TV in this room so Henry's going to love that because obviously he's not got one at home so wardrobe here so plenty of room for storage and then we also have an ensuite in this room so this is a shower in this one so you've got the option to have shower or bath um, toilet again, sink so we actually have three um and we go over to here and this is the best bit because it's like so nice and sunny out today so the sun shining here is absolutely beautiful so the view so the view out here is just stunning i thought i'd come out and show you because looking through window you get the reflection you don't get the full beauty of it um so yeah this is the view outside so like i said sitting here in the morning having a nice coffee and looking at that is just going to be absolutely stunning so walking back in here so again the classic sort of center parks logo on the wall um sofa area and we've got another tv here and i think that is everything i'm just going to show you what we brought with us um so it can be quite expensive to buy everything from Centre Park. So we have brought the essentials. When I say essentials, mostly snacks. Um, so we've got some chocolate pillows for cereals. Um, if Henry wants cereals one morning. These rolls, which we've already been dug into. And obviously we've got the cherry bait wells there as well. Um, we've just got the kids' beakers. So I have brought tea bags and sugar. I have done it like this, um, just because we didn't have a lot of room, so I thought it was gonna be easier just to put it in a bag and take it with us. We're not gonna need a hell of a lot of sugar, so I just thought I'd do it like that. We've got butter. Now, we've got to have the evening snacks, haven't we? So we've got Galaxy for Dan, Revels for me, milk stars for henry he obviously won't have them all in one go i can't promise you that i won't have all mine in one go just got some diet lemonade there you know just to counteract all the sweet stuff um but this is absolutely lovely so this is the echoes falls um the fruit fusion so i like that with a little bit of lemonade um just makes a really nice sweet drink a full fat milk because that's what henry has i usually have skimmed but i was only bringing one so i thought we would just go with the full fat and we've got coffee like i showed you we have got some pods so i'm definitely going to be using them as well and um, some crisps here um and then we've had this big bag of uh, onion rings which have already been opened half has got her porridge here some orange juice some crumpets in case you want crumpets for one morning and then i have a load of these sort of jars for hard part because i'm not going to be cooking while i'm away so we've just got them for convenience we've got a few of these like as a little snack so they're fruit ones um and then we've got some of these for sort of like meals um and then we've got um her porridge for breakfast some eggs for breakfast got some um biscuits here and some chocolate bars got sort of like more of the fridge stuff um so we've got some sausage rolls here um just got a loaf of bread um some fromage phrase for the kids we've got two of these pizzas so we're gonna have pizza up for tea one evening Two packs of ham for sandwiches for lunches because uh, if we do go out we'll probably go out two times uh, but it'll probably be in the evening so we'll probably have sandwiches um, for lunch and then some bacon for breakfast so guys it is the evening now and i'm so rock and roll that i've switched my wine to a cup of tea i had why my hair is wet. I had one glass of wine and now I'm on the cup of tea. 
Um, now you may not even be able to hear me because the geese are going crazy out here. I've got to be talk quietly because the kids are asleep. Um, Dan's actually like near enough fell asleep so I've just kind of left him to it. Um, so I thought it's still really light out here. Oh god, the ducks, I feel like the ducks were going to attack me. <laughs> Let me show you. everybody so Tuesday today day two I am feeling a little bit tired not gonna lie um, half was up about 4 30 this morning and up and down the night I do find I do find that when you take kids Henry was the same when he was little uh, when they stop somewhere different um, they kind of go out their routine a little bit and they're a bit unsettled so I did find she was a bit like that um, last night so I think it's about half seven, something like that. I'm already on two coffees this morning. I actually went and sat outside with half part about six o'clock this morning with a coffee. I put a blanket on her and we just sat and we just enjoyed the views um, and it was lovely. Um, so Dan is actually making breakfast this morning, which is a nice treat to have it made for me. Now, for some people, cleaning it while you're on holiday may seem like an absolute bizarre thing to do. But for me, there is nothing better. I'm just gonna stand you up. There is nothing better than when things feel clean and tidy. And when you're on holiday as well, I just want things to be organized and feel relaxed. And I don't feel relaxed if like everything's messy. Obviously I'm a mum, so things get messy. But, um, Going back to what I was just going to say, so I have actually hoovered everywhere this morning. It's only day two and I've hoovered everywhere. Oh, I've given everywhere a good tidy and um, it's all hoovered. So let's see if I can show you. So dining room, living room has been tidied this morning. Quick tidy up over there. We've still got the cot there because half part didn't actually sleep in her cot last night like i mentioned it was just it was a bit of a nightmare so just making me and dad have proceed now because i've already had a cup of coffee this morning and i'm using a teapot i know who am i um so i put a couple of um yorkshire tea bags in here so this should make a really nice strong cup of tea because i am not about the wheat tea life i love a good strong cup of tea very british isn't it um so yeah it's about i think it's about eight o'clock now um good morning everybody so it is 10 o'clock we are out the house Dan said, oh, it only took you till half four this morning to get you both ready. Um, so yeah, we are all ready. We are out the house. Um, just going to bowling. I'm hoping Harpon may go to sleep en route, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, her eczema's really playing up. I think it's probably because like the sheets and things may not use non-bio, I'm not sure. But yeah, her eczema is playing her up a bit. That's why she was up quite a bit last night. So I'll just show you the boys. So there's the boys in front having a little explore of the woods. We've kind of come the long way just to um, avoid, not necessarily the traffic because the car should be parked up by now, but there is quite a lot still outside of our lodge. So I'm not sure if there's just not enough um, parking or what's going on. Um, but yeah, there's none driving about, but there's a few bikes on the main bit. So we've kind of gone the long way because it's nice and peaceful so just showing you some of the beautiful views this morning um it's so the boys again so yeah just on the way to bowling now <laughs> Yeah, Daddy's got another turn. He's got to redeem himself on this. Alright, Henry is in the lead. 
on 30, I'm on 20, Danny's on 17. Actually, behind at the minute, let's have a look. See if we can get a strike. Uh, uh, in a minute. Uh, it's really Please ignore the lighting there, but I am just having a coffee now. So Dan actually won bowling. Um, Parker's just having a little snack and then we've got a play area. It's a great little play area, it's under five. So Henry and Harper have both been in there. But yeah, just enjoying my coffee now. And then we're probably gonna go for a walk because as you can see, the sun's shining and the weather is good today. So it is quarter past two now. Um, so obviously we went bowling early on. The boys had some ice cream, I didn't have any. Um, they had some ice cream. We've got a little friend here, let me show you. Oh, just, yeah, little friend come to see us here. Um, yeah, so been back at the lodge, had some lunch. We just made some sandwiches. Sat outside at the patio because it is quite nice, but it is looking like it might rain, and I hope not because we are going to family put in next. So, um, so like a little bit like cold, you know, you know what I mean. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got that booked for 2.45. We walked through that area um on the way back because the village is so busy, like it must always be busy, but like I can never remember in it being that busy it just seemed crazy but when we walked through the i think it's country something i'll pop it on the screen um it was it was so much quieter they've got like a maze there they've got the put in um they've got the forestra forestry forestra um restaurant there so yeah and it's a little like i said it's a lot quieter there as well um so we are going down i've just changed i had a dress on earlier and i've now just gone for jeans and our oversized jumper because i have noticed so this is a tip if you are coming to center parks just bring joggers just bring leggings and that is something i have done completely wrong i brought dresses i brought jeans and all i wanted to do is wear leggings and trainers um so yeah i and everybody's just in leggings or joggers um so that is a tip if you are coming to center parks nobody dresses up it's literally just comfort um probably a nice dress if you're going out for a meal in the evening but other than that just bring your comfort so that is a tip i need to carry on for next time so yeah i'm just gonna finish getting the kids ready and then we are gonna go ready? so we're just playing golf now henry's having his guy <laughs> oh, i think he might you? knock somebody out with it <laughs> Wow. wow, good shot. Uh oh. That went far. Morning, guys. It is Wednesday today. The sun is shining. It is looking like a good day. And even better, we're going to the pancake house this morning. So excited for pancakes. I'm most definitely having sweet pancakes. Most definitely. Really, really excited. Today's outfit, we have gone for some pink trousers. Like I said, the sun's shining, and let me see if I can get a bit of a better. Today's outfit, we've gone for some pink trousers. We've got a bit of a pouch going on at the minute. We have a bit of a pouch going on. The holiday food pouch. I've eaten so much, it is disgusting. But we move, we move on. So yeah, Pancake House this morning, already looked at the menu obviously. Um, it's a little bit later, it's about nine o'clock. So this is the menu. I'm debating whether to have the Cookie Monster or to have the Bonoffi stack.
So we are just walking back to the lodge now. Um, Pancake House was absolutely delicious. I'm full, um, ate it all, of course. Empty plates all, well, I would say all round. Henry's plate was not empty, but um, we did pack it up to take away with us. Um, so yeah, just on the way back to the lodge now, we've booked to go on the boats this afternoon um, because the weather's really nice. Um, so we thought we'll make the most of the nice weather. So we are on the boat now. Are you having fun, Henry? got 30 minutes on here luckily it isn't too cold on here as we're walking down it was a little bit chilly and we didn't bring any coats but on the water it's actually not too bad um so yeah dan's steering he's in charge of that so yeah just it's really peaceful and it's really relaxing um although harper's getting a little bit agitated now so whether we will last the 30 minutes i don't know but yeah, so we're just on this now. Um, and then I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do this afternoon. So I will pop on later. So I just wanted to show you what it's looking like. Hey. It's breakfast time, which means the geese are back. And they're tapping on the window. And Danny said it is eating his butt. <laughs> Yeah, so the little rascals are trying to get in. Be careful near the water. Have my hand? Yeah. No. Awesome. Right here. Wow. So pretty. Now they're coming. Uh, it's going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Let's come and see if we've got any food. Okay, to the lake, and this is just our. Come on, Henry. Lodge up here. So as you can see, there isn't far to go at all. Yeah. Hey guys, I can't actually remember the last time I filmed. I know, I think it was at some point yesterday, but I don't think I filmed much in the day at all. Um, it is Thursday now, so the last full day. Uh, it's nearly two o'clock. So this morning we went swimming, so I've just come out the shower, washed my hair. Um, it's nice, a little bit chilly, but the sun's shining. We've, we've done well with the weather. We haven't had any rain, so we have done really, really well. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do this afternoon. We've brought some food from the shop, so like a pasta bacon things, um, to have for tea tonight. And we had just sandwiches for lunch today, so just eating everything in today, um, because it's just becoming so expensive with activities and eating out and things like that. So yeah, eating in today swimming was really really good um obviously didn't film because i couldn't really take my camera uh, but saying that i probably could have took it because the most of the time i was just sitting near like the cafe bit um because we tried to take harper in but she just didn't like it at all i think she was a bit tired because it didn't open till 10 o'clock so that's around like her nap time um henry liked that so dan and henry just went off me and harper went in a little bit but then just sat and um i brought a hot chocolate from the starbucks and then she had a nap on me i fed her so yeah so um they they all really really enjoyed it and to be fair i enjoyed just sitting there having a nice drink um yeah so it opened at 10 o'clock we got there for about 10 to and the queue by the time it opened was huge so if you are going to the pool make sure you do arrive early especially if you want to get a seat um because we really wanted to get a seat and luckily we did because obviously harper didn't really want to go in the pool and then they had like little sort of play pens there as well with changing mats in them um but they only had like about five or six and um, so we just grabbed one of them put it with the chairs i don't have any tables but they've just got some chairs um so yeah so if you do want to grab some chairs i would recommend going a bit earlier um, but yeah, we've had a really nice morning so far. I'm gonna now finish tidying up from 
lunch and probably make another cup of tea, maybe sit out and enjoy. The good thing is with these lodges, because the view is so beautiful, you don't even have to go anywhere if you don't want to. Um, you can literally just sit out there and enjoy the view. So yeah, I'm gonna tidy up now um, and then I'll probably make another cup of tea or maybe have a glass of wine. We feel a bit bougie and have a glass of wine. Um, I did bring a bottle and I've still got half of it left. So yeah, I might have a glass now and maybe a glass later on. But yeah, I don't know how much I've actually filmed um, this holiday because obviously when you're with the kids and things, you kind of just want to enjoy it. Um, but I did want to try and film a little bit. I haven't filmed the um, village yet, which I really do want to film so you can have a look if you've not been here. Um, I was meant to take the camera this morning and I have like a, well it was quite quiet, um, but yeah it didn't work out that way. I couldn't have anyway because we had to queue up. So hopefully maybe this afternoon when we go out I will take the camera out and just show you what's about in the village. This is the little arcade area just here. It is £10 for 10 tokens I believe. You have to pop your card, tap it on the screen and it gives you the tokens so yeah one tap for 10 tokens so i'm going to attempt to show the village to you but it does get quite busy so i am quite conscious not to get people in so you've got starbucks there you've got the new restaurant that have just opened there you've got the treats just in front so this is where the treats is just here um, it's not too bad price wise, it's just the cart which is really expensive. So that's what it looks like inside if you can see. That's the shop just there, you got Cafe Rouge just there. <laughs> that is where the swimming is, just there, Bella Italia. You've got an Indian restaurant just there and then you go to the lake the cafe rouge and now does afternoon tea as well if that's something you are interested in and then like i said you walk down to the lake